Yo, what is going on, you relentless Rattata? Today we're playing some games with Welder Mewtwo, and I know it hasn't been a ridiculously good deck for a little bit, but I think it's back, at least for this pre-rotation format. It has been insanely well for me. I played it on my stream the other day, twitch.tv slash azulgg. I stream there daily, daily PTCGO stream, so check it out. Um, and it's just been ridiculously good. It was insane. I was super impressed. I was like, hey, might as well try Mewtwo. I feel like I've played through everything else uh quite a bit so give the Mewtwo a shot and uh yeah it was pretty insane how good the deck was so gonna be playing some games with that for you guys here today so the big attackers in the deck now is we got the Silvalli GX which if a Eternatus one hit KOs our Mewtwo we can return one hit KO and Eternatus with the Silvalli's Rebel GX attack um, if they just hit us but don't knock us out and it's the same thing against Seta Scorch we have the Sigil of GX in here with the uh, Interceptor GX attack which if they go with a big um Send a Scorch, knock out a Mewtwo, we can respond with Interceptor on another Mewtwo. And if for some reason, you know, they don't want to do that because they're afraid of getting the one-hit KO back, you know, don't want to fill up their bench, just want to hit us a little bit lighter, don't want to put too many energy on their Send a Scorch, hit us a little bit lighter, we can hit them with that Darkest Tornado GX, which is basically Outrage times 50, um, which is pretty good. <laughs> 10 plus 50. Uh, then we've got the Naganadel in here, of course, and I've added a Giratina in here so we can actually snipe Crobats off the bench with the Naganadel with the Venom Shot or Eldegoss. Uh, Rush Zard, really good against Zacian decks with the Outrage. Um, Victini V, good early game acceleration, mid game acceleration, late game acceleration. If we just need to accelerate to get that final prize, if they knock out one Mewtwo, we just have like, no energy in play, but we need to get like, you know, seven energy in play from a Cargo GX, Baba Flow or something, and you know, stamp, set up this guy, Spreading Flames, maybe Welder to a Mewtwo as well, and then kind of go. We got the Charizard, good old Charizard GX in here with the Flare Blitz GX for 300, mostly used in the ADP and Pikaram matchups. Due to Dene as well as a Crobat for that ability draw support. It is a Jirachi build, currently doing the Jirachi build, sitting at the 4 Jirachi, 4 Switch, 2 Escape Board to utilize that. Got the Turbo Strike in here, our best early game attacker. Usually we're attacking with this guy uh, or this guy to accelerate energy. And sometimes when this guy's prized, we actually hit him with that Turbo Drive, which is super nice. It's almost like a second Ogalio in the deck. Um, Giratina, I mentioned using that to snipe Crobats and Eldegoss. Marshadow in here, a lot of Chaotic Swell going around right now, especially in those ADP Zation decks. Gotta make sure we can use our Hearth. One more Shadow there. Three Mewtwo. Only really need two a game, so. And uh, if I was playing the no Jirachi build, I'd play four because I want to open it more often. We got the Sigil of Veneer, like I said, for that Interceptor GX attack. Um, also, the Mirror Counter is pretty good to set up as a wall in front of Vika Vault for a little while if we want to. It's also good for that. Um, or kind of any. Um, like, you know. Or not Vika Vault, sorry. Pika Rock. Not Vika Vault. We don't want to set it in front of Vika Vault because it only is GX and EX Pokemon. Uh, send it in front of Pikaram. Uh, if we need just, like time, because if Pikaram KOs this, then a Mewtwo can actually win the game. So if they full blitz into the Sigilyph, they just kind of get knocked out themselves. So it's a really nice thing to just send up there, chill. Um, but they have other stuff in there, so um, mostly just here for the, the Interceptor GX attack. Knock out that uh, uh, Center Scorch. Got four Cherish Ball, four Quick Ball, two Treasure. A lot of Pokemon search in here, trying to be as consistent as possible about getting our Pokemon to the discard pile, finding our Pokemon. So on one reset stamp, um because you never know late game situations for switch like i mentioned we got the one tool scrapper in here mostly for weird stuff on zations like capes or frying pans or goggles like anything like that tool scrapper is really good for that um so that's why we got that in there three hearths got to find our fire energy of course we got the march out to get rid of the swell and get the heart in the plate two bosses orders we don't gust very often because uh, usually we're just kind of punching whatever's in the active they go in with their big thing we respond to it how we have to with the uh, Incineroar or the Silvalli or the Charizard, whatever, and then we can kind of snipe in the Ganadel, but sometimes we do need a boss to close out a game or be aggressive on, on our end. Four Welder, two Skateboard, nine Fire, three Psychic, and that is the list. Not have anything else to say, I don't think. Um, it's pretty cool. Let's go ahead. Let's get into some games. All right, we are into a game. Our opponent is going first, but that's fine. Actually, I've been opting to go second most of the time with the deck just because I want to... Usually so Galio, uh, just on turn one and just like get some extra energy in play possibly. Yeah, I've been usually uh, I was opting to go second most of the time. Robat start from our opponent. What are they playing? Fiery Flint. Oh, okay. It is Baby Blounds. This is a it's a bad matchup. <laughs> There's no two ways around it. Baby Blounds is a tough one. Let's see what we can do here. The reset stamp gonna be a big factor for sure. But yeah, it is just kind of a bad matchup. Not too much. We can uh not, no two ways about it. It is a a, uh, a bad matchup. We'll see what we can do, though. It's possible we can pull something crazy out. We're going to try and get into an early Mewtwo, then get into Victini, and then try and do some stamp to one shenanigans towards the end of the game. So that's going to be our game plan. 
YouTube, Bixini, Stamp to 1. Um, and hope they can't pull off the Birch GX. Um, so we're just going to look to hit this Crobat with uh, Solgaleo, get some energy on the Victini, and then kind of go from there. It looks like we're going to have to Dede Change out of the gates with this opening hand, but that's fine. Um, still a lot to find for us to pull off our play for the turn. I'm sorry with the Quick Ball here. Get rid of the Giratina. Grab that uh, Dedene, I think. Yeah, we just want to clear out the hand. Dedene Solgaleo is here. Okay, I was going to say it is prized. It's not, it's not prized. It's there. Plenty of switch guards, plenty of skateboards. Crobat is here as well. Good to take note of. And we're going to go ahead and grab this. Let's scrap our way that. I'm going to bench the Mewtwo. I'm going to discard the energy here. Because I do want to try and Turbo Strike. And we do want to try and play a little bit greedier because it is an unfavorable matchup. Okay, Welder. Our Mewtwo. Three. Not looking great to pull off what we want to pull off. Let's go Stellar Wish. Okay, there's a Cherish Ball. So if we can get away to discard this Solgaleo. I'm going to go ahead and even search out the Solgaleo right now. Go ahead and search out Solgaleo. Bench this. I'm going to attach Retreat first. Because if I whiff, then I get to keep my switch. Otherwise, if I switch first, then I don't get to. Because I'd leave this in the active if I whiff here. Um, we do just need a way to discard the Solgaleo. We have a lot of ways to do that. There's a Treasure. Okay, we did get it. Um us a little bit but we did get there and we should have grabbed this and again i'll try and discard later on and we should go ahead and hit this crowbat uh for some damage doesn't do a ridiculous amount but uh it's better than nothing i feel like on there i could have just like passed with jirachi in my active but the thing stays in the active again on a turn we have to hope to get lucky at some point in here so this thing stays in the active again for a turn then we get to just get that two prize knockout then they go in with the baby blown we can follow with the teeny ko blown uh they ko that with a the blown then we can go stamp to one i was thinking maybe if we can get to a point where we can go you know boss something up and then again it'll snipe off the bench that would be ideal it is just the pass from our opponents this is exactly what we're looking for this is just what we need i'm just gonna go ahead and turbo strike i don't see a reason to do anything else it would be nice to have an energy for turn uh, I could have switched, but I don't want to put something anything like Hearth in play. I don't want to give Hearth for my opponents to utilize. They could have Welder, but no Fire or something like that. We could have Dede changed as well. Once again, don't really want to give my opponent too many options to work with. So I think just going like this is is fine. The Crobat back to the active for our opponents. Fine. I think I maybe if I was him, I would have sent up the, the, the Dede because it on their side it's seeming like that I have don't have too too much going on. So they got the Dede in the active. Turbo Strike doesn't KO today. Turbo Strike does AO Crobat though. So. Uh, and it has, yeah, neither of them have a way to move. There's a welder from our opponent. I think we saw them use a flint turn one, right? Okay, so we know they have energy. There's the Oracorio. Okay, they're in business. Let's see how much business they're in. Because uh, it's definitely quite a bit now. Uh, but if we can K get this free KO on this Crobat, they don't have a switch knockout. They might have. They don't have that. Um, I definitely want to get a KO on this Blown. Uh, I actually KO the Crobat. Oh, uh, they have the switch, but it's into a Jiraji. Stellar Wish, do they find the cards? We definitely want to go into Victini next turn if they do find what they need here. I don't even know how I'm going to handle this hand next turn. We'll have to figure that out as well. Got to get the Victini, get some other stuff. Uh, we'll probably be fine. There's a Welder grab, so they have a Welder for the next turn. Yeah, Boss the Blown is good. I don't play Eldegoss in the list currently. It's definitely something that I'm like looking to potentially include uh, into the deck is an Eldegoss. I don't have it in here right now. Very good card potentially in the deck. Um... We'll see what else they got. Another Jirachi. I, I really want to knock something else out off the bench. I don't really want to kill their active. That's a good top deck for the future. Um, got one switch left. Might just have to KO their active. Gonna go switch. I don't want to discard this now. Stellar Wish. We got the Hearth. I think I may as well start building up energy. They're, they basically have almost all their energy out of their deck. I assume they'll be able to knock me out next turn pretty much no matter what I do. So I'm gonna start building up more energy into play with this Hearth play. Grab the Hearth. Hearth, Hearth away, Ganadel, Fire, and gonna attach to probably the Victini actually because I know I just want to attack with that on the following turn. Treat and uh, we could Turbo Strike actually. I could discard that, but if we get a Welder, then I want to be able to Welder draw cards with that energy as well. I'm kind of torn on that. I think I'm just gonna go with the Turbo Strike here. Yeah, because if I do get a Welder, but I guess I could just Dead A change anyways. Maybe I should just attach that energy to be honest. Um, we should be able to get all the energy in play that we need to be able to do the play I want to play. Do the play I want to do. So they're going to send up um, Blacephalon here, knock out our Mewtwo. I want to go Victini, knock out the Blacephalon. Then they go knock out our Victini. If they don't have the whole Great Catcher, knock out my Mewtwo thing, which they could have. And I would lose if I if they do have that. <laughs> um, go Victini, knock out the Blacephalon. And then I'm going to go, stamp, I'm going to ideally try and draw into Stamp Boss. 
uh, just bring up something that's not something, then snipe the Oracoria with Naganadel, and then just KO whatever's in the active at the end of the game. That's gonna be the game plan. They knock out this. I'm gonna knock out that Blissepalon with Victini. Go down to three prize cards. They go knock out my Victini. I'm like, all right, cool. And I'm gonna go boss something up, stamp them, and then snipe their Oracorio. So when I take my knockout, they don't uh, draw cards. And that's gonna be our game plan. We're not there yet. Getting there. Getting close. Definitely do it. Definitely doable. Uh, just need a couple pieces. Finding our second boss, finding our one of reset stamp is going to be the hard part. We do have a Dedene and a Crobat left, though, so it's definitely doable. We're going to probably Dede change away this hand here uh, now um, or soon. Soon as, uh, yeah, it's here soon. There's a Chandler. So my opponent trying to get the dubs against the Vika Vaults. I, it is possible that Chandler might be enough, to be honest. I don't know. Not a matchup I've thoroughly tested. I've played zero games of Baby Blount since the new set came out uh, because nothing really changes for the list. I guess unless you're including the. Uh, the Chandler uh, to beat Vikaval. I guess that's one new card. Besides the Crobat, of course. There's a Crobat. Definitely would play a Crobat in the Baby Blounds. But I, maybe Chandler's the move. All right. That's up the Jirachi. Here comes the Blown. Here comes the Knockout on my Mewtwo. No surprise there. We're going to send a Victini. We have two turns to find Boss plus Reset Stamp. Um, and hope our opponent doesn't have the whole Welder Grid Catcher combo, which they definitely could have. Because it is kind of just a uh, a combo of cards is pretty good to play in the deck, so they could definitely have that. Um, I kind of want to keep Marshadow around as well, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Having a Hearth in play at the... Uh, if I can just get one of my other Hearths, that's also fine, though, because they probably do not have... Go ahead and thin out... I, don't, I almost just don't want to show Macargo to try and use it as my... I could Macargo them for sure. Uh, I guess just thin out this guy. We're just going to attack with Victini this turn. Try and get into a welder. The reset stamp and the boss are in the deck, so. Ali. Um, oh, I don't have the Dene here. Oops. I thought the Dene was in my deck. All right. This is awkward now. Take the Crobat. Yeah, only slightly awkward now. Uh. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to play to get a welder this and in this hand then, I think. Um, Not going to use the Crobat yet. I want to use the Crobat next turn. There's the boss for next turn, so we can just take that. But we can't do that if we don't have... Oh no, if we don't welder this turn, we're going to be in trouble. We have to welder this turn so we can Naganadel snipe on the following turn. Uh, man, I think I have messed this one up. All right, we're going to go attach the Victini. Uh, Stadium bump. I should have played this a little bit differently. I thought I had second to Dene in the deck. I think I even talked about it being prized at the beginning of the game. Let's get a welder right here. Nope. All right. We are now in big trouble. Did mess up. All right. Energy burst. Knock out the Blown. Yep, I messed up pretty bad there we should have played around uh crowbatting to try and dig deeper before the stellar wish and uh, but i thought my second today was in my deck i just i even talked about it being prized i think i think i mentioned that i noticed it was prized i was like all right it's prized um and then i went ahead and played it out like this anyways and now we are in big trouble okay um did not get a welder there pretty rough Needed a welder there. Now we can't set up the snipe play that I was trying to set up. And we're only actually a reset stamp away with access to a Stellar Wish if it does go out the way we want it to. If they have the Great Catcher play, we do just lose. If they have the Great Catcher play, we do just lose. But um, we're just going to kind of hope they don't have the Great Catcher play. And uh, get that. Uh, we can get the the, the playoff. Uh, I mean, we can't get the play if they don't have the Great Catcher play. And we get to... I don't know, I guess at this point, we just stamp and Turbo Strike Blacephalon, I guess, and hope they can't find their big blown. Because um, I did mess up that uh that play there i did i did mess that up my bad they have the great catcher play the game is just over maybe they'll thin out enough of their deck that i can use mccargo's gx attack to mill them um and sometimes that actually just wins the game sometimes you can actually just be like all right i'm just gonna mill and hope you just kind of run out of resources i've won games against baby blounds like that as mewtwo um you're just like all right you uh threw your deck a lot i don't deck you out here but you would need quite a bit and I'm just going to go ahead and mill the rest of your deck and see what happens. Sometimes it sticks and they lose the game. Quite a few energy recovery. They got. They have at least enough. That's that's more than they need to KO a Victini. I think they have the Great Catcher here. I think a lot of them a lot of them play Great Catcher. It's pretty good in the deck overall. Yeah, this is a lot more than... <laughs> this is a lot more than the 5 energy they need to KO Victini. Looks like we were never getting there uh, anyways. Oh, the Big Blown is down though. So maybe they don't have it. All right, hold up, hold up. Are we still in it? Or is the Great Catcher coming down? And they just wanted to also show me that they have access to the Big Blown. It seems like they recovered way more energy than what they needed. 
Um, so now they're going to have more energy in their deck, so our reset stamp will be a little bit more effective. I'm trying to come up if there's like an out here. I have a play I can do where I can like try and draw three prize cards in one turn, but I can't come up with anything. I think it literally has to be, yeah, there's Kano active. Stamp to one. Yeah, it's got to be stamp to one K the active. Hope they don't draw to an energy when they have Oracorio and everything set up like this. Um, if I had gotten the Welder though, we'd better be in a pretty good spot. We bring up this, this to Dene. We stamp to one ideally. Snipe. I mean, that play isn't guaranteed, of course, but what we would have gone for um how much stuff are they down two crystal three retrieval seven uh ten so they have like three energy left three energy and two crystal Ugh. or just two crystal. i was thinking we could just snipe the big blind and then hope they don't have the ko on my dude but uh it's probably not super likely go ahead and grab this I'm gonna see what our seller wish gets us maybe a welder this time hey there is the Welder. And we're after that reset, Sam, so we're going to play the Welder onto the Mewtwo. There we go. What do we get? Been great. This in play. This guy is definitely the most likely to be good for us. Um, and I think I'm just going to go that Snipe Big Blown route. They are down their Ordinary Rod as well, I believe. Yeah, so they can't recover it. So we're just going to go with that Snipe Big Blown route here. And uh, I don't know. Hope it works out. Let's go for it. See what happens. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to snipe the big one. Uh, they, they can't recover it. Um, if I had a reset stamp here, this would actually be a pretty good play overall. Um, the reset stamp would actually make this play pretty good, actually. I'm going to Venom Shot, snipe it. We got the, the win in hand next turn if they don't have triple fire crystal or double crystal. But you know, they hit me with the well played, so I feel like our time is done here. We got kind of close. The matchup is very difficult, um, especially living off that one reset stamp. Um, yeah, it's just, a, it's just a bad matchup overall, to be honest. But it's it's winnable. Just uh, yeah, not going to happen this time, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to probably be taking an L here. I assume my opponent has the energy. Um, uh, maybe not yet. They're still playing further. There goes a boss. Although, boss should have given it to them. They could have bossed up my Jirachi. And um, KO'd it for one energy. So either they missed that. But they actually are thinning out their deck to try and draw into the energy with Oracorio and are forgetting that they could actually just knock out something by playing boss for the turn. Um, we'll we'll see here. I also could be getting BM, so it could be anything, right? Um, there's the Heat Factory. Discard the Heat Factory. Okay. Drew down to one card left. I think they're looking for their second Fire Crystal here. Switch... Stellar Wish, is it actually the last card in their deck? It is. <laughs> we know they have the second we know they have both fire crystals. And they had at least one fire. So as long as they have a switch card, they got the KO here. We're gonna make sure they got that switch card though. Um but yeah, I think they forgot that they could just boss up my Jirachi and you know use one fire energy to knock it out. They didn't have to go the full route, the full swing, uh, and uh knock out my Mew Mewtwo and Mew. Uh, but, oh well, here he goes down. Alright, like I said, tough matchup at the beginning of the game. I even messed up my game plan in the middle. Uh, kept it kind of close, though. I needed... If we got the reset stamp there and KO the Blob, I actually think we had a pretty decent chance. Didn't happen. Uh, maybe we'll get them in the in the next game. Alright, we are into another one. We did win the coin flip. I'll go second. I've been choosing to go second um, pretty, pretty much every game. I've been just like... Feeling like going second is just not bad. <laughs> just doesn't feel bad at all it feels pretty good actually uh, especially against decks like vika Volt, stuff like that you get to prepare yourself a lot better around uh, knowing that they're playing vika Volt and just kind of maybe overextending your items once you know they're playing vika Volt. Um, and also getting to play that welder or just getting it to attack on the first turn just feels really good and it feels like your opponent doesn't get a huge advantage by having that extra turn to you know play items and attach uh like attach energy for turn or whatever it seems like it's definitely a bigger advantage to get off that attack potentially on our side something like that we are up against a pikaram it looks like actually pikaram traditionally been a very good deck for welder mewtwo i don't think anything's really changed in that front i think it's still a pretty good matchup for the the welder mewtwo deck yeah it's a pretty good matchup overall zapdos haven't seen that in a while uh, unfortunately they opened the coco prism which is like a really awkward pokemon for us to hit into we don't we don't knock it out we can't actually knock it out which is like awkward um all right we got a quick ball here gonna give up an energy i don't even want to grab anything here i don't really want to put anything in play we could grab the marsh that's the only thing i guess we want second mewtwo um i guess second mewtwo is gonna have to be it 
Let's go Mewtwo, Mewtwo, um, attach Victini, Crobat for five. Got the hearth. Need a could just dead a change to try and get uh, deeper into the deck here. Could not. Um, could check for what's it called first to see if we get a welder off this, but we could just dead a change and then go from there. I think I'm just gonna go with that. Oh, the dead change just out of the hand. Increase our chances that much more of hitting the welder. There was a lot of fire there. Um, and I'm gonna hearth this guy. Fire. Can we get a welder? Is the question now off this stellar wish? The answer is no. All right. Where do we go from here? Probably grab this cherish ball. We have a lot of energy in hand. I would hate to lose all of it. That wouldn't be good. All right. Pass over to my opponent. So. A little bit of an awkward opening here. But depending on what our opponent does, it might just be fine. If they just go Zapdos, KO my Jirachi, we can respond with go get uh, Solgaleo, Turbo Strike, KO this. Uh, and then we just go two knockouts with Mewtwo's from there. Get plenty of energy in the discard pile next turn. No problem between Quick Ball, Hearth Sticks. Um, there's already one in there, so we'd easily be able to get... Or should pretty easily be able to get some value out of Turbo Strike. We'll see. Um, there's a Bolton to grab from our opponent. If they just go in with Bolton for the turn, probably going with that Electrify... Could just uh, player strike for the knockout. Um, but actually, if they don't, that's kind of awkward. If they don't, uh, if they knock out my Jirachi, though, with like full blitz here, we kind of just don't have anything to work with. We we would have to like dead a change, which would feel really bad to dead a change this much energy away and not be wanting to use Ogalio this turn anymore. So we'd be in a really awkward spot if they actually full blitz knock out my Jirachi here, which it looks like is the concede they did with they whiffed the full blitz and decided it wasn't enough uh even though my first turn wasn't great okay we'll take it i guess and uh yeah we end up with a dub over a peak around sure all right into another one gonna choose to go second like i said i've been choosing to go second with this deck it just feels a little bit better opening hand not bad really depends on what we were up against and what we're trying to do but it looks like we just get a welder got a turbo strike pretty much set up can grab uh Dedene and the solgaleo here Hearth, just need to find that welder, attach, uh, dead a change, and then yeah, looks like we're up against an ADP Zation. Matchup is close, I guess. I don't know. I played against a couple. Um, they've been pretty easy some of the time, a little bit more difficult other times, but um, yeah, close, I guess, is what I would say. It feels like a close matchup for sure. Um, just need to knock out this guy. Our goal is to knock out this guy with the Charizard on our second turn. After we do whatever we do on our first turn, and then from there, we just kind of see how, kind of see how the game plays out, I guess, for the most part. Just play the game, see where it goes. Um, but yeah, goal on turn two: knock out this guy with the Charizard. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's our goal. Um, their game plan is going to be to GX attack on turn two. That's why I like going second, especially in this matchup as well, is because uh, if they go second, like if we go first, kind of have like one less turn to play with. Like, like we could do pull off two welders. Um, more supporters, kind of more draw power in our turn, potentially. Uh, whereas on their side, it's kind of like they're going to try and GX attack no matter what. And if, and if we can, you know, we just want to charge with them after the GX attack. So if we get one more turn to use Welder to uh, to respond to their whatever it's called GX attack, it's that much uh, that much better, that much cleaner. So feels that much better. Uh, Air Balloon to the Zation. They've used the Crobat. The Crobat's down. Do they have anything else to do, or are they just going to Intrepid Sword? There's this Verdian Force that I think I am going to use here. I'm going to Verdian Force away this, get a Psychic, and discard it um, to get that Psychic in the discard pile, and then recover it with the Turbo Strike. We're going to first check if uh, Turbo Strike came there. Hopefully, yep, Turbo, Turbo Strike's there. One of our two Dedenites is there. All right, cool. So we just need the Welder, really. Three Welder in deck. We don't have super good odds of hitting it, so I'm going to go Verdian Force. Grab this, grab a Psychic. I'll attach active, I'll throw hearth in play, and then Dede change is up next. Where is the Dene? Yeah, only three welder in the deck. Let's see if we can do a quick ball for Crobat to, to dig further is a possibility. There's a welder. That's perfect on hearth away this Jirachi here. Two more energy into the hand. Um, welder to the U2. Draw three, quick ball away. This guy gonna grab a, another Mewtwo to Turbo Strike two. The Charizard is in the deck, good good to take note of that. Bench, and then yeah, Turbo Strike. This 120 damage is kind of irrelevant on the Zacian. We usually one hit KO these with Flare Strike um, or something like that. Yeah, so 120 damage here is 
kind of irrelevant. Um, but it's still being there isn't isn't bad. All right, so we need to get the Charizard next. That's our next thing to get into the discard pile. Our only way to find Charizard is Cherish Ball, which is it's a little bit tough to find sometimes. If you know we're already down through two Cherish Ball, and we haven't gotten it yet. A Cherish Ball for the DNA, not ideal. Cherish Ball for Scalia is fine, uh, but yeah, Cherish Ball for the DNA definitely not ideal. We could just go with trying finding Naganadel this turn and just Naganadel snipe this off the bench that would be fine and then go into the charizard next turn um we always run the risk of them going knock back to back knockouts on two prize pokemon which is what we're majorly trying to avoid is just don't give them those back to back knockouts on our two prize pokemon but we'll see what our top deck is and then i guess kind of go from there but yeah we can get the crobat with the quick ball and uh hope to find the the charizard i guess that would be our our game plan uh and usually if we can knock out the adp it's hard for them to get back-to-back -back knockouts on two prize Pokemon with the sensations. If they get to ultimate Ray of two prize Pokemon while you have another one to play, the game is basically over, it feels like. Um, here comes a Mawile. Um, unfortunately, it looks like our Jirachi is going to the bench, which actually fills up our bench by plus one. That hurts a little bit to have this guy on the bench here, and there's no reason for them not to put on the bench here. Yeah, so they're going to force our Jirachi to the bench, which does stink for us. Um, I was going to try and discard him with Everdeen Forest, but if I had Quick Balled right then, last turn... I had one less. I mean, I could have quick balled away, but then I wouldn't have been able to grab Crobat, right? Because then Crobat would have been forced on the I could have used Crobat, I guess. But that would have been for less than I could get off this turn. Now I can really thin out the hand with Viridian Forest and Hearth if I want to do that. Uh, which I probably will. Probably Viridian Forest away in energy. Maybe Hearth away in my top deck. We'll see what it is. Uh, it's a Mewtwo. So yeah. Uh, so we want to go like attach here. Um, Viridian Forest away this. Uh, fail. Quick ball away this. Grab that Crobat. And we're going to put the Hearth in play. Two Cherish Ball, one Charizard in deck. Can we find it? The Hearth is able to be able to use it as our way to discard the Charizard if we do find it. So we're not going to Hearth yet. We're going to wait and save that. All right, hold up. We can Stellar Wish into a Cherish Ball real fast. Let's get it. No such luck. Okay. Let's see. What can we do now? We did find a Boss's Orders. Which isn't bad. We could Boss something up. We could knock out that Z. We definitely need to take a prize card this turn, I think. Uh, we could just take the escape board as well, but then we don't have an attack to use. That's our opponent's active here, I don't think. No. So I think we have to take the boss here. I'm going to take the boss. Uh, I'm going to hearth away uh, Victini. Not that last fire. The reason we didn't hearth before we Stellar Wish is because we needed we needed that Stellar Wish. We needed that Stellar Wish. Got, what, one energy in here? So we just go with another Turbo Strike to get another energy in, on, in play on this Mewtwo. I guess I could have discarded an energy instead, actually. That I could have had another extra energy in play here instead of discarding the Victini. I guess Victini could still be useful. I'm just thinking he's probably not going to be useful. All right, let's take him an energy out of play. Sure, gonna have to go this route. Um, came in the ADP. Letting them ultimate ray is just not not what we want. We do not want them to ultimate ray. Gonna have to be okay with it this time though. Knock out the station. Get two prize cards. Hopefully soon find a way to um. Get a knockout. I guess we got the. Oh no, we don't have Reggie's art in here. For some reason, I thought we had Reggie's art in the discard discard pile. Um, I was saying, okay, we can go with that. Uh, can go with that. Uh, you know, good old uh, double blaze next turn. But no, not gonna happen either. <laughs> we don't have what's it called in the discard pile here, so we're not gonna be able to double blaze at all. Comes a stellar wish from our opponent. Are they going to be able to find off of this? Is the question energy switch okay that's good that's not a boss's orders or a great catcher once again just do not want them to ultimate raid this to Dene. at all costs that could just not happen e superb just don't think about it don't do it whatever hit my active mute if they hit our if they hit our active mute we can actually respond with the darkest tornado gx which is conveniently just kind of set up in the discard pile right here it's just there so we can do that we can hit him with the darkest tornado take this Oh, there's the boss. Always, they always have it. Feels like they always have it. It feels like they always have it. All right, now we're in trouble of just losing to them, chasing our Dedenne. That's another. Is that the third? Third Viridian Forest. Okay, at first I was like, maybe it's just two. Third Viridian Forest. Very aggressive with these Viridian Forests. Our opponent is. Looks like they're using those instead of Energy Spinner, which I do kind of like to be. Because they kind of you also get the discard effect. Oh, it's pretty cool actually. Um, all right. I get the ultimate ray knockout. Energy on the Zacian. Our game plan here is just to stamp and KO the active. That's it. Reset, stamp, KO the active. 
Um, so we're going to send up a Jirachi. I'm going to Welder to this Mewtwo. Double Blaze is an option. Reset Stamp is the real thing we need here. Um, we have the, the, the Dede left. Double Blaze is probably what we want to go with here, though. Double Blaze KO this. Have all the energy on it. You can go with Macargo or Flare Strike or whatever next turn. Reset Stamp them. Uh, and hope they whiff. I mean, they still got, a, what, one boss in here? They probably have, like, two boss left. Eldegoss, second to Dene. One Quick Ball. Maybe another Cherish Ball. They got a lot of outs. That's what I'm trying to say here. So they got a lot of outs. And that's not good for us. All right. Going to open up with Treasure Away. Psychic Energy. Take something out of the deck. Grab the Naganadel. Uh, Viridian Force Away Naganadel. I don't think there's anything to grab. Nope. And, um, oh, is Retchy's Art prize? Retchy's Art, so we need this guy. We need that guy, actually. Specifically need that guy. All right. Welder to the Mewtwo. Need the reset stamp as well. There's the Dene. Going to attach a Psychic Active because we might just hard retreat. Hearth into play. Uh, do I want to bump the hearth? I think I'm going to keep the hearth. Uh, bump the hearth, keep the hearth, bump the hearth, keep the hearth. I don't know, it's a discard out. Uh, yeah, keep the hearth. It wasn't ever even close. Overthought that to a million percent. Got the Charizard, can discard it. Going to start with the Quick Ball. And now one more Pokemon out of the deck. Probably grab the Giratina. Uh, reset Stamp's not on the deck. <clears throat> so, we don't have Reset Stamp. So we are living. Um, we're going to lose. I can tell you that much. We're going to lose. <laughs> They're going to have a Gust Effect. They always have the Gust Effect. I don't think I've ever seen them whiff. Quick Ball for this thing. We'll just Quick Ball away this. Thin it out one more time. Grab that last Jirachi out of the deck. And yeah, a skateboard active. Treat. Gonna hit him hard. Uh, but it's not gonna be quite enough here, I don't think. That uh Flare Blitz GX. So what we're trying to do, we're trying to stop the ultimate raid from happening. This is what we we're trying to do last turn. Didn't work out. So here we are now doing it a turn late. Uh probably a little bit too slow. And this is gonna be uh Game. I would just, they had a six card hand, they got Jirachi to work with. I'm just going to assume this is probably just going to be game. Oh, well, though. We got close-ish. Uh, of course, it always could have been better, but um, man, if you whiff that knock, if you whiff that, if you just whiff something against ADP Station, their decks are so consistent right now about doing what they do. You whiff anything against them. Um, any play that you need to make to to keep yourself in the game, they are always, it's like, almost always feels like you're just going to get steamed. Their deck is just really aggressive and consistent. It's just, it just does the same thing every single game very consistently the only thing they sometimes slip up on is the turn one gx attack like if they're gonna get the um yeah the, the you know the metal saucer energy switch attached combo going that's the only thing they maybe whiff on that's the only thing that maybe slips up for them that's it past that everything is just yeah, once they've you know turn two gx attack everything just kind of flows from there and it's just it's just easy it's just easy for them um there's the Dede change. They got Great Catcher, Double Boss. Like I said, they can't use Eldegoss now. Their bench is full. I doubt they play Scoop Up Net. Um, they can't use Eldegoss. That's one thing we got going for us. But uh, still have their Great Catcher. And there is the Great Catcher. Goodbye to Dene. And yeah, we're going to take another L here. But it was close. Still a close game. Just had a little slip up. Couldn't find the charger. That's fine. Still a close game. Going to take the L here in the end. Oh, yeah. I love Welder Mewtwo right now. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Not a whole lot of time to play this kind of build. Left rotation is coming soon. So if you want to get in some last couple games with the Welder Mewtwo. While it's still good. I think it's a very good deck right now. Didn't think about it at all before. But then I just tried it out the other day on stream. Twitch.tv slash And it worked out splendidly. Check it out. Try the list. Pretty good.